What up guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be talking about how to remove the hyper flash when you use your turning signal after installing the switchback uh, turn signal. Now the problem is that if you didn't install a resistor, uh, it would hyper flash inside, not outside, but inside, which is pretty annoying. It was like, tick, 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 it goes crazy. So with force scan, there's a way to get rid of this. But here's the deal, if you remove it, if your light bulb goes off, you would not notice it because normally how it works is like the light bulb goes off, the system detects it, and it hyper flash to tell you that something is wrong. But you don't have to install the resistor, which we all know it gets super hot. If it's in plastic, it can melt the plastic. It's such a hassle. So let's just go this route. It's easier and that's about it. So let's get down to it right now. The hyper flash 726-2701 right here and all you gotta do on this one is to change the second number right here you're gonna have a one change it to zero to disable if you want to add it again hyper flash when the bulb is out it's gonna be zero one zero zero if you want to have it disable zero 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 press right and you'll be all set now when I put my signal it is not hyper flashing and let me show you that I have the switch back turn signal and there's no resistor and that's it for today's video guys I hope you guys liked it if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you don't like it give it a thumbs down consider subscribing I'll see you guys next Friday for next video